Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 8 of Let's Play Banjo Tooie, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Oh, it turns out you can actually get in here using a grenade. That actually makes things a hell of a lot convenient. Or just the average amount of convenient. Uh, I did remember seeing something like this doorway before. This looks like a, where the UFOs get out of, if I recall. And it looks like we need Mumbo for this, too. Seems like he's responsible for powering up a lot of these rides. Which, sadly, we have no ability to do ourselves. We can climb up here, though, if there's anything of value. I really hope there is. Um, you, there isn't. We can't get on top of anything, so... That was kind of pointless. I hear a Jinjo, actually. Where's it to? Oh, wait a minute. I know where the Jinjo is. He's on the other side of this door. So I think I need the Wombo transformation to get there. What is up here, anyway? Why would I want to climb up this area? I have no clue in the slightest. Uh, let's get up there and find out, though. Oh, that's probably why. Just to get some notes. Well, those ten notes will be of value, that's for damn sure. Also, there's no way we can get up there, because I think those tracks are for those, uh, clammy boots that we found earlier, but we have no way to use them yet. Let's go into the big top. I mean, I see no reason not to. Hey, 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 don't do that. That's rude. Maybe there's a big show going on. I like to see. Let me see your tickets, buddy. Tickets? What do you we need what do you need them for? Four tickets are required to enter Congress Big Top. No tickets, no entry. Well we have four tickets. Pass them over then, pal. Cheers. I'd better let you in now, then. You're just in time. The show's about to begin. I hope they've got acrobats and a human cannonball. I kind of wish they had some oranges so I can spit them back at Conga. <laughs> Where do you think our seat will be? I can't see any seats. Perhaps we're supposed to sit on this big lump on the floor over here? Doesn't look very comfy. That's because it ain't. Oh, that's actually our third boss. No, wait, actually fourth boss. I forgot about Klungo. Oh dear! Not more intruders! Well, I'll show you who's boss. See how big and strong Mr. Patch is? Ha! Huh? You're not all that big, really. That Klungo freak near the start was probably bigger than you. Oh yeah? Well, how about this then? Oop. Mr. Pat, strange, wobbly, inflatable thing. He also has a very tiny neck. <laughs> I suppose you think you're clever, don't you? Well, one doesn't like to blow one's own trumpet. That's except for Marilyn Manson. Oh, I sense a battle coming on. If you insist. Hey, you insisted, not me. Okay, do I have my grenade eggs on? Yes, I do. Good. And it's a good thing that's all they give you is grenade eggs, so it's a pretty good clue that you need them. No! Uh -oh! You found a weak spot! It looks like I might need some help here! You'll have to beat me from the air now! Um, why was Bottles Molehill there? With a boxing glove? Uh oh. So where's the flight pad to? So you gotta watch out because those boxing gloves that pop up from underneath will hurt you. Okay, that was a bad play on my part. You actually have to hit C up and then you're allowed to shoot. They give you a lot of feathers too, which is really nice. Okay, so just bumping into Mr. Patch only just takes you out of the aim. It doesn't outright hurt you. I mean, Mr. Patch would have other ways to hurt you. Okay, we got another patch. 
Good to know. This guy's got more patches than uh, Diddy Kong in Smash 4, I mean, really, now. <laughs> Okay, we got eight patches left. He will attack you with some beach balls coming out of his mouth, too, so be careful about that. But as long as you stay away from him, you're in a good position to, well, freak some damage on him. Okay, did I get both the patches on his face? I hope I did. Uh, are you having a coughing fit or something? Man, he's actually pretty hard to hit. That's because he's constantly moving. All right, we got we got to pull back down just to get some more eggs. Luckily, there's lots over here where you launch yourself up anyway. Might as well fill up on our health too. Good to know you get like ten egg, ten grenade eggs per pack because well, the most you can carry is twenty five. Wow, I actually got two patches right there. Did I get the one on the back of his head, too? That's awesome. Okay, I think we only need to hit him one more time. Where is that other patch, too? Where is that other patch? Oh, it's on his front! Okay. We just gotta get him to look at us. I think we need to fly a little bit low. Oh, I missed him. Okay. Alright, we gotta aim a little bit better. Yes, yes, I'm not, I'm not gonna check my Snapchats yet. Yes! We got him! Hm, Mr. Patch? More like Mr. Ass. Uh-oh! Looks like trouble! And he's gone. Well, that was actually an interesting boss battle. If I can say one thing about Banjo 2, at least the boss battles are not boring. They're actually very ingenious. Oops, huh. They don't make games like this anymore, sadly. Hopefully, Ukulele will be just as good, if not better. But they got big shoes to fill, let me say that much right now. I'll be taking my jiggy now, and I will be leaving. Oh, the exit's right over here. Perfect. Oh yeah, we're already full. Alright, let's uh, check out some areas while we still can. Where should we go to first? You know, I don't understand why they still got slot machines over there. They, they should probably just disappear and go about their merry way. Why don't we go to the western first? Where are those doors? Okay. Before we go, I want to, like, get a good cursory glance as to... Ow! As to what we can do here. And because they got some enemies across the wall, that should be a pretty good hint that there are some things we can do. I didn't get health from that? Really? That's a disappointment in the slightest. What could be up here then? Let's find out. Oh, Wumba's here! Cool. Um, where's the Globo then? Maybe the Globo is across this door. But no, we need Wumba's transformation to even get here in the first place. Maybe Wumba's Globo is, like, further on in this area. And perhaps... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, I see a Jinjo. Maybe it's actually in the Crazy Castle. We should go check that out. Yes, 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 I, I see you, Mr. Red. Thanks. Freeloader, not giving me any health. 
I know, there was a honeycomb there. Hey! Oh, I'm starving! Give me some fries, and I'll leave quietly. Wow, you've got fries! Can I have some? Can I? Can I? Will you give me some food? Here. Yeah. You fatty. Thanks, mister. I'll go and see if mom is ready to leave. Thanks for finding the little scamp for me. There's still another two to find, though. Wow. Apparently that's how you get the kids home. You gotta feed them. Ah, oh, it's a Jinjo. Oh, hello! Rawr, I'm a Minjo, arch enemy of the Jinjos. And they die. I need 170 notes for this move. Forget it, punk! You won't be needing that flea bag with you to learn this one. Why, you cheeky? What flea bag? Because you could be. Well, I'm pretty sure Kazooie is the flea bag. Now that I think about it. Aha! Beautiful. Pump room? Wait a minute. Where does this lead to? Oh, the Crazy Castle pump room. I was actually not sure what one they were referring to. Wait, Banjo and Kazooie. Oh, we need the split up move for this. To ring the bell requires three different. Ah, oh, yeah, we already got that. I also gotta remember to like uh, go back to Mayhem Temple to enter that feathers cheat. Cause I think that inc that doubles the amount of feathers you would have. That's pretty much the best thing I can think of. Oh, we can actually split up right here. That's real convenient. You just gotta press A. You have split up! To change to the other character, stand on your pad or near a swap cloud and press A. To rejoin, simply touch the two characters together. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah, you can tell if it's a Minjo if they just keep returning. Banjo's now got an empty pack, so why not use it to attack? Just press B and round it swings, bumps and bruises, two baddies it brings. That'll be all? Alright. Cool. So, I think we gotta, like, use the two apart in order to pump up this place. Alright, so all we gotta do, put Banjo over here. As you see, that glowing thing is called the Swap Cloud. Because you can't just swap anywhere. It has to be on specific areas. Yeah, and you actually have, like, less health, too. So that's another thing you gotta watch out for. It is pretty interesting that you can actually just split up now. You couldn't do that in Banjo-Kazooie, because such a move did not exist. Kazooie can't attack, really? Wow. Now we should be able to uh, pump up this castle. Pump, pump, pump it up! <laughs> Look at that castle grow. Isn't that lovely or what? Oh, we can actually go up there. Like we can just jump on top of the castle. I bet you there's something good up there. That's rude. Don't do that again. Don't do that again, I swear to God. We almost died right there, or Kazooie almost died. Hey! What the hell? I'm tilting really bad against this scumbag, all because I don't want to fight him. Like, I'm just being a pacifist here. Now, let's see what we can actually get on the very top. Like, what is on the top of this castle? I would like to know. Uh, so far, it looks like there is nothing. Like, there is not a damn thing in here. Maybe we just gotta go in the castle and play the games. Like, if there are any games. And then we'll be able to get the reward. This is a Kazooie-only game, apparently. But we can go in this one. Okay, we're flying. 
Welcome to the Balloon Burst Challenge! You have 60 seconds in which to score 50 points! You wanna hear the rules? Okay. It's real simple! Shoot the balloons! Blue ones are worth 3 points. Green ones get you 2 points. And red ones just 1 point. Now let's see what you can do! Ready, three, two, one, go! Okay. On the plus side, you get infinite ammo. You only get 60 seconds to do it, though, but at least you're able to shoot an infinite amount of times. So you can literally just hold the fire button and hope you get at least 50 points. Like, just aim for the blue ones if you can. But just aim for whatever one is there. That's just pretty much how you're gonna win. Got three points already, not bad. Oh, oh, beautiful. Oh man, that green one just would not get hit. Uh-oh. We're running low on time. Need to get six more points. Did we get it? Yes! Okay, we got at least 50 points. Oh, it's so unfair! You just got enough points to win my Balloon Burst prize! Look, if you want to be a competent villain, couldn't you at least give me, I don't know, five seconds to do this? Like, make this impossible. She makes it possible for you to win. Do you want to play again? No. Apparently, you can always fly here. Like, watch, I'm flying into the ground, but you can't fly down. Okay. I'll go grab my prize now. And then we gotta come back as Kazooie only to play the other game. That sounds cool. We can do that. I don't see why we can't. So let's go grab ourselves a Jiggy. Let's go get Jiggy with it. Yeah! Okay, so, now we just gotta split up. Get out of here, you. We'll play as Kazooie, then we'll go in here. Let's see what Kazooie gotta do. I imagine she would have a completely different game. Oh, you get to, get to run! Welcome to the Hoop Hurry Challenge! You have 60 seconds in which to score 30 points! Okay, let's hear the rules. Pretty simple. Really? Jump through the hoops. Blue ones are worth three points. Green ones get you two points. And red ones just one point. Easy, huh? Let's give it a go. At least she doesn't even make up rules that are wrong. Uh-oh. You know, I think this might be the one time that the uh, speed cheat actually works against you. Of course, the red hoops that are worth the least amount of points are the biggest. And the blue ones, well, obviously you gotta squeeze right through. Uh-oh. And they don't last forever, either. Was it worth all that time just to get that one loop, or one hoop? Probably. I mean, whoa, they're all disappearing on me. One of them actually spawned right on top of me, which is real nice. Uh, I think I got it. I'm pretty sure I got it. What did I only need, what, 30 points? Yeah, I only needed 30 points. I hit the score, so I'm good. No, you can't have! You scored enough points to win my Hoop Hurry Prize! Don't sound so surprised, Grunty. <laughs> You've been kicking your ass for years now. To the point you don't even have an ass. No, I don't want to play again. It's been fun. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. And collect our other Jiggy. I think we pretty much did everything we need to do around the, uh, western area. So we can just start checking out other areas. Weirdly enough, we did not even find the Globo. 
that one book I didn't use. Maybe we'll find it elsewhere. You can always find out. Like, I find it weird that Wumba's uh, Globo is not in this immediate area. I always thought they'd be very close. I guess we can, like, check out that spot again. Yeah, we should, we should check that out again. Or maybe it's actually inside the wigwam! It could be right inside the wigwam! So, let's go inside! Yeah, let's let's go take a look. It is there. Okay, we found it. Cool. Oh, we can't swim until we pay her. Yeah, I have a globo. It was in your wigwam. It's like I literally just robbed you of your own wigwam and paid you with your own item. It's just like Skyrim all over again while I'm stealing their equipment and then I'm just buying stealing their equipment and then selling it back to them. Mama, call this Van! Van carries much coins! Use control stick to move and press B for horn! Okay. So I'm a, I'm a vehicle now. So, with that, all you have to do is just press B to honk and you get to go inside. So I guess we're not done with the western area yet. Actually, we are, because we just wound up over here. Wait, was there something inside the crazy castle that warranted the use of a van? I don't think so. Ha! Huh, you can actually just run them over. Oh, yeah. A <laughs> vehicular manslaughter. Banjo-Kazooie style, or Banjo-Tooie style. Of course, you cannot climb up ladders, but who's being surprised by that? <laughs> you can run over slot machines, too. Having the time of my life. Running things down. We can actually open this door now. Let's do that. That'll get us a Jinjo. You can't actually reverse. You literally just make like a 180 degree turn. Okay, that's fine. Is there anything in the uh, space area that I needed this for? Yes! Over here! For a treble clef! Beautiful! Is there anything else? I might as well just check out all the areas. And then I'll be done with the van. This is so cool, you can just run everything over. Oh my god, this is great. It's like Grand Theft Auto all over again. Well, actually, in Grand Theft Auto, I usually play fair. Like, I don't try to run things over. Hey, here to enter the fearsome furnace of the Inferno! Okay. The ride is now open! Um... Yay. Do I need to come in here as the van? I have no idea. Instead, I'm just going to keep going through all the other areas to make sure that I don't need the van anywhere else. Okay, I think I did cover every place. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go in here as the van. What can go wrong in the Inferno? Other than being burned alive and possibly killed. That's just a small thing to worry about, I suppose. Okay, well, okay, I do need the van over here. I got a Cheeto page. Beautiful. Oh, oh. Wait a minute. Ha! Huh, I can drive across lava. Neat. Well, I, I don't know if it's really considered lava, but you get the idea. Get out of here, fat ass. Is that switch going to be active permanently? I hope so. Okay, it looks like you gotta get up there to get a jiggy. Oh, 
Okay, it looks like it's somewhere where you need to split up. Okay, we know where our kid is. And we know we need to split up in order to even get the Jiggy. Oh, there's a Globo! I believe that's Mumbo's. Fair is fair. And Mumbo's skull is actually in here. We'll go in here as, like, regular Banjo-Kazooie later. But for now, let's go see what else we can find. I think that is all you can find. Well, we accomplished a lot, but... There were some other entranceways. Uh, thank you for letting me out. I didn't want to stay in here forever. Let's see what's in this area. The Haunted Cavern. Oh man, it's dark. And it looks very menacing. Yeah, my turning is not smooth, I know. But let's be honest, I'm, I'm in a freaking van. Warning! The management accepts no responsibility for soiled underwear as a result of viewing the Cave of Horrors exhibits. Oh yeah, what's so bad about the Cave of Horrors? i like to know. I bet you they're not even bad. Huh, one of the kids is trapped. Can't do anything about that. Hey, is that Gobi from Banjo-Kazooie? Oh my god. There's a Jinjo. They only put him in there because he's black. <laughs> Uh, what else is in here? Guess we'd have to come back later as the original guys. As, like, the OG Banjo-Kazooie. Can't this place stay lit up a little bit longer? That would be much appreciated. Is there any reason I would want to go this way? Like, really? Any reason at all? Okay, so I literally just need to sidle across. I see what I need to do. Okay. That means I'll have to be coming back here again later. I'll start, like, cutting some corners somehow and dying. And my engine is still going while I'm dead. That's hilarious. That's showing respect for the carbon footprint. Oh my god, look at that air! It's like San Andreas all over again. Okay, we checked out, like, the, uh, purple pathway. Let's see what the green one is like. I'm very curious now. Oh, this is the train station! Cool! Get out of there! You're, you're supposed to be, like, living. Okay, this train station is... Not as I expected it to be. Apparently you're not allowed to take food out of there. Good to know. But we can actually just summon the train to actually return. That's pretty cool. So if we need to use the train, we just gotta go here. So I think we've done everything we need to do as the van. We're done with it. If I do miss something, I'll obviously I'll go back. But for now... Let's just re revert. <laughs> I'm like leaning. It's like I'm a freaking lowrider. That's actually pretty neat. Okay, so I guess Mumbo is going to be busy for a little while just to get these rides back again. I think he's going to have his time to shine in the next part. So, we did a lot. But in the next part, we got to do even more. Oh my god, I'm upside down! That was scary! <laughs> uh, next part, we'll play as Mumbo for a little bit and get these rides powered up. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.